going to experience a daybreak strike. We're going to take a look at how mayhem will influence your player versus the enemies of the darkness activity. And we have a fire team assembled. Uh, Joe, talk to us about which strike we're going to be playing today. So today we're playing the Sunless Cell. Um, it is... Yeah, so the modifiers, I think, are Berserk, uh, Airborne, uh, Arcburn, and I don't remember the other one. Okay. Well, Brawler. Well, uh, Brawler. What is it? Brawler. Brawler. Okay. So uh, our Guardians, uh, they already have their super ready. They were, <laughs> waiting for, uh, they were waiting for their chance to be on the show. Uh, just at a glance, I can see in the uh, lower left-hand corner that you still have the, uh, the new timer there. Yes. Yeah, strike scoring is still uh, going on. And if uh, you're a guardian who has always wanted to complete a strike within 30 minutes to uh, receive that accolade, having uh, maximum supers, having maximum guardian abilities could be a great way to uh, quite literally burn through this activity. Yeah, it's definitely a, gives you a bit of an advantage. <laughs> so uh, talk to us about um, the inspiration of this. You've essentially taken the uh, the mayhem super recharge modifier from the crucible and applied it to strikes. Uh, is this something that you wanted to do for a long time, or did it feel like it fit, uh, fit the themes of Age of Triumph? Uh, it we really felt it fit the themes of the Age of Triumph, uh, kind of a celebration of the light and the uh, the player's power and uh, the projection of that power into the game. So this is uh, for many players likely to be our last hurrah with some of these strikes. Yeah. So why not just turn them into an ultimate badass and let them go in there and hurl their light in every single direction? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you felt like you needed to change in order to compensate for that? Have you made uh, the bad guys a little bit badder? No, uh, everything is still uh, the same as a normal nightfall strike. We, we have, like I said, we have the epic modifier for the combatants and then all the other... Uh, modifiers that come along with uh, Nightfall, you just, you just have more power. And uh, is that recharge rate going to be something that we'll benefit from in every space of the game if we're on the strike? It will not, you will not get it in the public spaces, but every, every private space you'll have it, so you can't just sit in a public bubble and blast all of the guys that keep on spawning. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So. No, no super farming in a, uh, in a public space, duly noted. Uh, so uh, we're watching our Guardians play here. Uh, the, you know, they've all chosen their characters. We have a Hunter, we have a Titan, we have a Warlock. Uh, talk to me a little bit about some of your favorite subclasses to use in a Daybreak Strike. Uh, let's, let's swap some notes here, just on a personal level. Uh, like, what, which characters do you like to play now that it's you know, super energy all over the place in the I... constructs of a strike? I enjoy playing a warlock and the stormcaller. You just have such a, uh, a an, an immense room clearing capability with that uh, character. It's yeah. pretty fun. How about you, Tim? Well, um, I like the stormcaller as well. Okay. I'm a warlock main, okay. so um, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. the room clear, like just being able to take out a bunch of thrall in in one super feels really good gets all those orbs for my friends yep especially in an encounter like this where we have uh that arc burn Ch check out the the airborne tether there a little bit of uh, acrobatic action here um you know we don't have very good uh equal representation on this panel right now because yeah. obviously we are all warlock players um i can tell you that i'm already looking forward to uh taking off the Void Fang vestments that are a huge part of my Crucible strategy. You know, uh, you know, throw a grenade, get killed, respawn, repeat. And um, I'm going to put back on that Light Beyond Nemesis, that beautiful shiny black helmet, which is just going to give me even more super energy. So uh, I'm just going to be uh, a Nova Bomb terror uh, in, these, in these Daybreak strikes. Um, but let's also give people a sense of, um, with these burns, you said that there's an arc burn today. Yes. Uh, are you ever going to do something as crazy as a rainbow burn? There will be some weeks that have a rainbow burn. Okay, yes. okay. Uh, and what are some of the things that uh, these players have done today just to configure their 
uh, Guardian builds to maximize their potential with an arc burn in play. So you, uh, a lot of times you want to pick a subclass that has the, uh, an arc subclass. Like the Stormcaller. Like the Stormcaller. Um, also, you want to put on your equipment that reduces arc damage to you, of mm -hmm. course. So you're not getting pounded so hard by the enemy. So they are making short, pretty short work of this. Uh, they're, yeah. they're moving through this pretty well. Uh, they're, they're fighting close together, which means they can take advantage of the orbs. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of tethers. And uh, there's uh, going to be a lot of great, what were you saying before? There's going to be a lot of great synergistic action. Right, yeah. Um, with, the, with strike scoring, a lot, of the, a lot of good points come from using your supers. And if you use your supers synergistically with each other, uh, for example, tethering and then having somebody that can clear a bunch of guys quickly, like a storm color, uh, kill all the guys that are tethered, that kind of thing can increase your, your score. Mm -hmm. And we have an entire page in the Age of Triumph record book that is devoted to strikes. Uh, how do you anticipate that the uh, introduction of these Daybreak strikes will help somebody complete that page and, and get everything that you know, that page has to offer? Well, Daybreak strikes are how I'm going to complete that page. Th that page is all about getting killed with grenades and melees, getting yeah. points, yeah. finishing your nightfall in 30 minutes. Like this, I don't, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be so much fun just supering all the guys. You know, we, uh, we went to uh, PlayStation Experience, and that's where we revealed the dawning. Uh, so we showed people the return of Sparrow Racing League. We introduced strike scoring, but we never got to sit down on the streaming couch and talk at length about strike scoring. So since that's still a component of this experience, um, talk to me a little bit about how that work unfolded. Uh, you know, what were the conversations on the team about you know, adding a scored factor to the strikes? So it, a lot of it came, came out of wanting to give people an incentive to really uh, engage with all of the combat instead of just racing through everything. Mm -hmm. um, and the way that we've structured the scoring uh, the, the tiers is if you kill everything in the in the uh, in the strike, you'll you'll get gold. And uh, you worked with uh, different members of the team to make that happen. Yeah, the primary person that did that was Robbie Stevens. Okay, well, thank you, Robbie Stevens, for uh, strike scoring, and uh, we're glad that's still going to be a component of Daybreak Strikes. So. Uh, this is going to definitely change the way that people play. I know you were talking before, Tim, about the fact that when you get your super, you would uh, save it for those moments where you really, really needed it. Yeah. Um, I used to main Sunsinger. Okay. And, yeah. and it was like, well, my job is to stop the wipe from happening. Right. right? And um, I feel like Daybreak is just like, no, I'm going Stormcaller. I'm going to retrain my brain to like always have be using my super helping my friends especially like on a strike like this where there's so many thrall and brawlers on like yeah you know, let's, let's clear those rooms maximum enjoyment yeah mm -hmm. and, and now that we're not kicking people to orbit at the end of a nightfall anymore mm -hmm. there's really um no reason to not just throw yourself into the action enjoy it for all it's worth uh, although it should be said, this isn't going to be easy. We're no. Not, we're not taking the nightfall, and we're not making this easy mode for the nightfall. Right. It is, it is definitely still a nightfall. And when I play the Daybreak Strikes, I, I always end up overextending myself and get a little bit too cocky with, uh, your, <laughs> yeah. with your powers, and you get ahead of yourself, and you can get into trouble pretty quick. So it's, it's definitely still nightfall. OK. Well. These guys are progressing deeper into this activity. Uh, let's take a look at, at you just, there are so many tethers. There are just <laughs> so, so many tethers. Uh, hey, Scott, can we uh, spectate some of the other characters just to see how are the uh, different supers operating? There we go. Gentlemen, there's your storm caller. Mm. Clear in that room. 
with the number of uh, thrall that are uh, evident in this encounter, that's definitely a valuable subclass. Yeah, once you get to the, uh, the boss in this one, that, that's uh, super valuable. So uh, talk to me about uh, some of the different testing and some of the different process that you used to make sure that adding this mayhem modifier wouldn't ruin the strike. Uh, did you decide that, uh, you know, the PvP modifier was the right way to go? You know, did you try some different approaches to this? Yeah, we, we uh, messed around with the, with the rate of recharge of everything, and we, we came back to the same PD, PvP modifier uh, value. The PvP guys did a good job of getting that balanced out, and it worked well for the strikes. So, yeah, it's, it, it's the same modifier. And into the depths you go. Now, it should be said that it's no accident that we chose this specific strike to play. Yes. We thought, what better way to uh, finish this reveal than to uh, you know, feature a boss fight that would just have, <laughs> there he is, oh, just super energy ringing out in the darkness. So already they put a huge, huge dent in their boss. Uh, they're playing in close quarters, which means orbs for everybody. And uh, this is an opportunity to show how, with every Guardian using their supers, with maximum potential, maximum recharge rates, exactly how this impacts the experience at hand. Uh -oh. oh, he's going oh, no. <laughs> oh, to no. kick your ass. But here we go. It's hammer time. I love the way the boss gets lit up by supers in, in this encounter. Yeah, just illuminated as this dangerous silhouette. Uh, and there's just so many of them. I mean, obviously, I think if Destiny had always been like this, it wouldn't have been a shooter. It would have just been a space magic game. You know, I think it's nice that up to this point, we have always treated the super like this special moment, you know, where every once in a while, if your back is up against the wall, you get this ultimate expression of power. But this is a celebration, right? Yeah, yeah we're celebrating the Guardians. Uh-oh. A little bit of space magic uh -oh. confetti. More hammers. How many guardians do we have down? Good revive. I think they had two down. Two down. So. Okay, so this titan is the uh, the blue hero right now. Let's see if we can get an eye on the boss and uh, find out how much more fighting they have left to do. They're about halfway Ooh. there. So, still a shooter, definitely still a necessary amount of gunplay here, uh, but I think anybody who is familiar with this strike and familiar with this final encounter uh, can agree that the extent to which everyone is supercharged is giving the Guardians uh, a brilliant way to just more hammers, more hammers, <laughs> tons of hammers. Yeah, we can hear, we can hear them <laughs> on the other side of the room saying, oh God, here we go, let's get those revives. Oh. This is no time. This is no time to die. And with Arc Burn, with all those Thrall, it's... Yep, yep. They need that Stormcaller to do that work. Well, it's, More hammers! And it's it's Brawler this week as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Almost there. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arc Burn on Brawl probably not a great strategy, though. No. Let's put this boss to bed. You guys are so close. Can the Stormcaller finish the fight? No, nope, it's doing some crowd control. There we go. Nice. There we go. Good and job, victory guys. is yours, Guardians. Well done, well done. Good demonstration.